Hi everybody. I have to shut my door so my husband's TV doesn't um, interrupt the sound here. So I got that done. Hello. Um, tonight I'm going to do a swipe with a balloon kiss. This is a combination of two different techniques. Um, the swipe is not, I love the swipe, but the problem is, is that I don't do the swipe that well. It just keeps giving me problems. And, you know, I want to show you that not everything works right off the bat. And that, you know, you will have challenges. And, um... I've done a couple of these and I mean I have it down it's just it's not as flawless as some of the other um, things that I have done it kind of gives me a little bit of trouble and I have to work harder at it so um, we're gonna give it a go together tonight and we're gonna see how it turns out and if it doesn't turn out now this is something I haven't talked about before if a painting doesn't turn out, you can scrape it off and you can start all over again and go right over it. If it dries and you don't like it, you can go over it again. You don't have to scrape that one off. You just go over it. So what we're going to do is our usual thing, as you have seen in the other paintings, we're just going to spread this out get it out to the edges and I was meaning to do this before I came on camera but I already did and then I thought about it and because you guys don't need to watch me do this every time so I was gonna try and do that ahead of time but I forgot so I'm just gonna leave that like that I'm not even gonna try and get it over the edges so what we're going to do, I've got a whole bunch of colors here and I want to use them all because we're going for something really pretty. So this is um, pink metallic paint. We're going to start with that. I always stir it up and this is actually called a drizzle swipe. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drizzle paint all over this canvas in all different colors so we're going for the whole rainbow kind of uh, look not all the colors but I'm doing pinks and blues and purples and like a teal and so what we're going to do is just keep doing this and it's going to take a little bit there's no rhyme or reason to it and so this is going to be similar to the bloom technique in that we are going to use a cell activator at the end to create those pretty little cells. And I notice what I do is like when I start out here, I want to get, I end up putting too much on because when I'm using a bunch of colors, we don't need a lot of each one because we're going to have a lot of paint. Um, on there by the time we're done because we're using so many colors. This one is Folk Art Aqua Metallic. And I saw another lady do this painting the other day and it was beautiful and I knew I wanted to try it. So what's going to happen is when we're when we have all these layered we're going to put our cell activator on a playing card this is what i have found that works best for me because you do not want to drag some people use a, a spatula like a um, one of those spatulas that you ice a cake with and i've tried that and i found that it's too heavy of a touch for me it's it's because you just want to glide it across the top. You don't want to dig it into that white paint. And um, 
All right, let's go for something dark, darker. Amsterdam Thalo Blue. It's a paint. And you don't want to dig into that white. You just want to glide over your colors. And so it was a little bit too heavy handed for me with the spatula. Maybe as I do it more and get better at it, it'll work better. But I don't think I'm ready for that tool yet. I had the best luck with the, um, you can use playing cards. You can use those, uh, the paint samples, you know, when you go to pick out wall paint at the store and they have those little cards with all the colors on them. Those work well too. So you'll see in a, in a little bit, we'll be getting there. It was a beautiful day outside today. Went outside. I did the leaves. Um, we live on, let me get a paper towel. We live on two acres here, and I just go out and run the lawnmower over all the leaves, and that takes care of it. This is um, Primary Elements Ginger Flower Pigment. So I got the leaves done. That's They're not done. There's still a bunch on the trees. It's funny. The trees are not changing color this year. The leaves are just dropping off without having changed color first so it's kind of strange although everything was goofed up this year my flowers didn't do well my garden did well the vegetable garden but the flowers didn't do well so that was kind of weird and now the trees are doing weird things i really like this color so i'm going to put some extra because it really stands out And again, no rhyme or reason to it, obviously. All right, what should we do next? Let's go back to a blue. Amsterdam Brilliant Blue Paint. I'm going to do that. Also went shopping today and I have an interesting story I uh, I was buying some more Minwax um, polycrylic because I ran out and I needed some and I was also buying um, a quart of varnish so I go to Home Depot they only have the varnish I get it all is well with the world go to um, Sherwin-Williams they're the ones that uh, they told me would have the Minwax because I didn't want to drive all the way down to Walmart. Next color is Master um, Fluorescent Yellow, Master's Touch. So I go to Sherwin-Williams. I said, do you have Minwax? And they said, yeah. So I get it. I ring out. I get home. I look at the receipt. There's a supply chain charge on there of 4.75%. And I'm like, what's with this? <laughs> so they're now adding extra charges on your receipt. And we went out to eat the other night. And there was um, there was a 3.5% credit card fee on the bill. Nobody told us about this, so I noticed it. So this is a thing starting to happen, I guess. I'm sure we'll never get that back or never get that canceled out because once they start doing something, they never revert. So we'll see. So anyway, my Minwax cost me a little bit more today. But I needed it. And I only use it to mix my paints. So what did I just do? Yellow. So let's do some purple. This is um, a purple metallic paint that I got online. We're getting there. Almost done. It's a pretty lilac. Oh, wait. Got a big bubble. Yeah, 
Now all these colors are going to peek out in this swipe. At least I hope they do if I do it right. But you can see we've, we're putting on these colors and we have quite a bit of paint on here. So you don't need a lot of each color. You don't need to go crazy with it. This is my only purple, so I'm going to put a little bit of extra. But before you know it, this thing is going to be full of color. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to do the... I'm going to do this Primary Elements Jasmine Pigment. It's kind of like a hot pink. I want that I kind of want a fluorescent look under there so this is going to be fun to see how it turns out because we've got a fluorescent blue we've got a fluorescent yellow we've got this fluorescent pink so it really should pop and the cell activator we're going to use is black so just imagine how this is going to be we're going to have all these great fluorescent colors peeking out of that black. I think it's going to be gorgeous if it works out right. And if it doesn't, you will learn how to either fix it or uh, this one is Liquitex Turquoise Blue Paint. And you're going to learn how Either we just call it quits and say, I'm going to scrape this painting, or we're going to say, okay, that's acceptable. I can live with it. Or it's flat out gorgeous. Okay. Almost there. We're about to see the magic. And the last one is fluorescent pink paint. By Anita's. That's a really bright fluorescent. Last down, it should show up really good. Oh, yeah. And also, just so you know, I will take one day on the weekend usually. And I will just go through my paints and see what I need more of. This one's getting a little low. So I'll just add some more of the ingredients to this little tub right here. I don't even clean it out. And I just make some more. So that way I'm good to go for the week. So I do paints, paint mixing once a day. Once a week, I'm sorry. And it's kind of relaxing. So, now... We've got our colors on there. I'm going to take, I have my cell activator, which you know about. I have a little plate here. It's kind of got a waxy finish to it. Does it I like that because it, the paint doesn't absorb into it. I'm gonna take my cell activator. I'm gonna stir it up. And then I'm going to pour, let me make sure, yes, you can see this. I'm going to pour a swipe of it like that on the plate. Now, that's what I'm going to dip my cards in. I'll wipe this off. And I will show you the cards. These are the little pink cards from the store. So... First of all, I'm going to take my toothpick, I'm going to pop my bubbles, any bubbles that I see, and believe it or not, there aren't many. This is good. I could also use my heat gun, but I don't have it over here right now, so I'll just pop them with the toothpick. Looks good. Okay. So, we're going to do the first half of the painting and then the second half of the painting. 
So what you need to know is that you can use this card for like three swipes before it starts to absorb the paint. And I'm just getting a paper towel, so I'm ready. So I'm going to dip my card in the paint and I'm going to show you, see, I have paint on the back of the card. So we're going to dip it and then we're going to lay it on here and just kind of drag it across. We don't want to press too hard. So you see the cells we're getting? Very pretty. I'm going to turn my card over. I'm going to dip it again. I'm going to lay it in the middle. Drag it across. Look at those cells. Isn't that pretty? This is going to be nice. I'm going to turn the card around. I'm going to dip in here. I'm going to do another swipe. And I'm going to turn my card over. I'm going to dip in here. And I'm going to do the last swipe and i'm going to come over here and finish this one off all right so we have half of it swiped now we're going to turn it around i need more cell activator on here because you can see it's almost gone so we're going to pour some more okay now I'm going to take another card. I don't like that one. I didn't get everything. I'm going to add some more black paint. This here is going to slide off the end, so not to worry. I'm going to take and wipe my card off so my hands don't get full of paint when I grab it from the other end. And I'm going to the other end, okay? Because you can only get so many swipes. Oh, look at that. Okay, and I'm flipping my card. So I get four swipes on a card. It doesn't matter if it's neat or, or whatever. All right, let me throw this over here now so here's what you need to know about swipes well first of all we have to give this some time to react we want our cells to come up and they're coming and they're going to keep coming but you see this black down the center as we spin it a little that's going to spread and that black is going to get wider and it's going to become eh, unsightly i probably won't like it it'll be too much black so what you can do like we do in our modified balloons you could take a tool like like this and you can kind of put some swirls in here and stuff and that'll break up that black but that's not what I want to do this time because I want to do you've seen that before so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a balloon so I have this balloon it's blown up just a little you can see it's probably a little a little smaller than my hand okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it like this and we're just gonna tap on here and what that does is it brings the white up and it kind of gives you the look of a spotlight or of a um, um, uh, a flowery look 
So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get this. I want to help this just a little more because I know that I could probably get more cells out of this. So I'm going to try. I'm going to plug in my little heater thing. My heat gun. Oh, this is going to be pretty. This is the, this might be the best one that I have ever done. So let's see. So we're going to Okay, and you know what? I see one more thing. I missed a spot right there. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to take a card. Let me grab another card. We'll use a playing card this time. And I got a pair of scissors. And all I'm going to do is cut it. Yeah. I'm going to cut it small so it'll fit right there and not mess everything else up. Okay. Back to our cell activator. I'm just going to dip it in there, get a little bit of cell activator on it, and I'm going to go just like that and get a little bit more. Get that right there. Otherwise, I'm happy with it. Okay. And we've just got instant cells coming there, looking good. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get this stuff out of here. And we are going to spin just a little bit. You don't want to spin the um, swipes very much. Because you lose your, you lose the vibrancy of the colors and you lose your the definition of your cells but we do have to spend look at that oh yeah oh my gosh now i don't know what i want to do i don't know if i want to i don't know if i want to use that balloon so we've got paint coming down we don't have paint coming down right here so we're going to help it a little bit now, this is where I always goof up. I spin too much. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to restrain myself. So, let's see what we got going on. All right. What should we do? Should we do the balloon or shouldn't we do the balloon? I'm going to do the balloon. That's what I set out to do. Maybe we'll just do it in the corners and see how it looks. And then we can go and do it in different places. All right, so ready? You just press down. See? And what you need to do is wipe it off after I got to get a clean paper towel. Oh, I'm very unorganized tonight. You want to wipe the balloon off every time so it doesn't get too much paint on it. Okay. Look at that. Okay. I like it. I like that right there. So I don't want to touch that. I'm going to go right here. Gorgeous. I like that right there. I don't like this, so I'm going to kind of do it off the edge. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm picturing like spotlights shining through um, one of those disco balls, sort of. Let's do one here. This is really sharp. So let's do one 
here. Gorgeous. Oh, I hate to get in the middle there. Um, I'm thinking two more, maybe like here and here, and that's it. So let's do one here. Now you see how that, that breaks up that black? Oh, this is pretty. And then... Hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Oh, I love this though. Maybe right here. All right, what do we think? I think that's gorgeous just like that. Look at how easy that was, quick and easy. It took more time to put the paint down than it did to do the swipe and such. So I don't think I want to, I'm going to spin it just a little more. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Well, you guys brought me good luck because this is the first successful truly successful swipe that I have had. They've given me all kinds of problems. And you know what? Just keep watching videos. Just keep watching them. It That's how you learn, just by watching other people do. Let me get some of this. Put it right on the corner. You just watch other people do things and watch it over and over again. And then as you start to practice, you're going to look at your painting and think, what did I do? And then go back and watch some more videos and you will see what you did. You will figure out, oh, she didn't spin this as far or she didn't blow this as far. And that is how you learn what you're doing wrong is by watching what other people do. I had the hardest time with my blooms in the beginning. And the problem was that I was trying to blow them across the entire canvas. And you don't do that. You don't, you just blow it a little way. And, um, I'm going to get some of this good stuff right here. You blow it a little way and then you spin it out. And what I, I don't know why I had it in my head that I had to blow that bloom all the way across the entire canvas. And you don't. That's the worst thing that you could do. And until I figured that out, and it was such a simple thing. And until I figured that out, I was having troubles. But this is truly spectacular. All right. We've got everything all around on the sides covered. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, this is called a swipe with a balloon kiss. So two techniques combined. And there are um, swipes. There's a, um, a bloom Dutch pour you can do. We're going to get to Dutch pours probably next. That's another one of my favorites. And it's relatively easy. So everybody, I'm going to take this camera off. I am really thrilled with this. I'm going to take the camera off and show you a close-up. Let's come over here. Let's get ourselves zoomed out. Look at all those. Let's get it to focus. Look at all those colors. It is just beautiful. And you can see what I mean about those little balloon kisses. It makes it look like a spotlight just shining through. Very pretty. I'm so excited I finally got one right. Anyway, thank you. This is Laura. And um, I would um, 
ask that you please uh, click the subscribe button click the uh, like button on the video that helps it to get out to more people and also click the um, little bell so you can get notifications anytime that I add more videos to YouTube and have a good night. All right. We'll see you next time. Thank you.